I know, I know, I almost forgot. Well, I did forget that the end math in the Philippines is this weekend already. Tomorrow, Sunday, and I'm uploading this part two that I promised just 24 hours. Actually, it's just 12 hours before your big exam. So I hope this is not too late because don't worry if you need last minute tips and motivation. This is the video that I made that I rushed just for you. Even if you're not going to take the NMAT, I'm sure this will still help you. Why? Because I'm going to be talking about my best test taking strategies, how I approach difficult questions. So you can use this, especially if you're about to take college entrance exams, aptitude tests, and IQ tests. This video is for you. My name is Aura. Welcome back to my channel. So let's get started right away. If you haven't seen my first video about NMAT, it's this yes, one. it's NMAT season once again and a lot of you have been asking me for tips on how to ace that exam. Well, hindi niyo na itatanong. <laughs> Joke lang. I will link it below. But watch this video first. Or watch that first. Hmm. Basta watch both. But please don't waste time because you don't have a lot of time. It's your big exam tomorrow, I think. So like what I said in my first video, my one and only tip to really prepare for NMAT is to take the sample exam. Yes, there is a sample exam. Grabe, isang malaking if hindi mo alam or if you have somehow convinced yourself that you don't need to take it, that you'd rather just study your notes or go over your lectures instead of reviewing the sample exam given. Don't waste this opportunity. I will link the document below. This is the one that was available for us back in 2010. I'm not sure if it has changed now. Whatever, you can use this. You can use whatever's given to you or if it's the same, let me know. First of all, obviously, I'm not asking you to take this sample exam because some questions will probably be repeated. Ano ba? I don't think any of these questions will be repeated. That is highly unlikely. Ano ba bes? Hindi yan leakage. No matter how much time you have left right now before the actual exam, go, do it. At least you'll have an idea on the topics covered, the level of difficulty, you can familiarize yourself with the way the questions are constructed, and the exam sheet itself or the instructions. You should also be able to identify the high yield topics, the must knows, and your weak areas. Again, this is just meant to be a guide, your practice. And just trust me, you will regret it. Regret it if you don't use this given gift before the day of the actual exam. Come on. I remember when I was studying for my own animate exam, I took this practice set seriously. I went over the questions. I studied the choices, not just the correct answers, but the wrong answers as well. And I acted as if I were taking the actual exam, like simulating the whole feel of it, like complete with a timer and scratch paper, and of course, no distractions. So let's go over this sample test really quickly, and I will share with you some of the tips that I used myself. So I hope you learned something new in this video. So you should know by now that the NMAT is a two-part test. Part one is a test of your mental ability and aptitudes, and part two is a test of your academic proficiency. So both of which are shown to be correlated to a student's academic performance or potential in the future. Alright, from here on, I'll just blurt out random tips that I remember. So let's take a look at the sample exam. Always remember to please read the instructions carefully as in you have to translate the instructions in Filipino and talk to yourself about it to make sure that you don't misread it or you don't misunderstand it. Please make sure that you won't fail this exam just because of not following instructions, alright? Next is, I guess for this part 2, the reading comprehension. Instead of reading the whole text first and then reading the questions and choices after and then going back to the text to see what the answer should be, I suggest you take a look at the questions first, even just the question. So at least you'll have an idea on what you're supposed to be on the lookout for while you're reading and understanding the text. Okay, so this is to save time. Read the questions first. Because, for example, in this one, for example, somebody on number 27, as used in the selection, what does conundrum mean? So, ano nga namang babalikan mo pa, hahanapin mo pa, nasan yung conundrum dito? Don't waste time. At least if you know right before that you're supposed to look for conundrum somewhere here, then you'll know the answer to number 27. Okay, for this part, inductive reasoning, when you say induction, 
It's like being able to reason out even in the absence of complete information. This is like logic and reasoning out with yourself. So just trust yourself with this one. You got this. Just tell yourself, don't be intimidated, okay? Because you'll be bombarded with these images and you'll be like, what is this? I, I'm getting dizzy. My eyes hurt. I can't focus anymore. Just don't be negative. Tell yourself, tell yourself talaga that I got this, kaya ko to, kaya ng utak ko to, I just have to take it one at a time and I'll trust my final answer because that's what my very good brain told me. Oh, this part, number and letter series, I have a very good tip for this. Make sure that using your scratch paper, you write down A to Z, the whole alphabet from left to right, and then write the corresponding number under it. So for example, A is number one, B is number two, C is number three. So that way, when you're supposed to look for the correlations in between each letter, you have a number to represent it with. And trust me, you'll be able to answer these questions so easily as in it. You'll just breeze through this part if you do that technique. Perceptual acuity, uh, this is so hard, but just think about it, um, put it this way that, for example, you want to be a surgeon. You want to be able to say, oh, I have sharp eyes, okay? So, I got this, I got this part. Just always tell yourself that, I promise it will work. And remind yourself that we have the innate ability to answer these questions, promise. Oh yeah, this part also. Select the one which exactly matches the given information in word sequence, spelling, and punctuation. This is how I would do it. Rx, 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 Rx. All are the same. Laboratories, comma, laboratories, comma, laboratory, comma, this is wrong. So my tip for this part is compare the choices with each other per letter, okay, or per character, or per word, including the comma and the periods and the capitalization. Compare the choices to each other and then whichever is the different one at the last part is probably the same one as a question given. That's the fastest way to do it. I think. So basically, part one, you don't really have to study for it. Some people are just naturally good at it. But you will notice that this part actually is very clever because it tests different types of intelligence. So some people will find some parts easier or harder than the others. Why? Because some people are just good with numbers. Some are good with words. Some are good with visuals and images. And some with imagination. And some with abstract reasoning. So I personally really, really like part one because it's just always been my favorite. And you'll see this in almost all of your entrance exams, trust me. So the key here is to learn what you are naturally good at. So alin dito yung parang gets ko kagad. Alin dito yung parang nagtatagal ako. And you'll only find out if you take the exam yourself. So once you know where you're good at or where you still need practice, then Please practice. <laughs> Nang naman talaga. So that's it for part one. Now for part two, this is all science, and you can either guess this, or you can have a hunch on what the answer will be, or you can be so sure of it that you won't change your answer anymore. So this is how I answer exams like this, especially in med school. It's always like this. Here's my number one tip: for answers that you just completely guessed don't ever change your answer. The first one, the first guess that comes into your mind, that's usually the right one. Why? Because our brains, I believe this so much, our brains have a way of telling us the correct answer from our subconscious. Trust me, you've read that somewhere, you've heard that somewhere, and your brain has made somehow some correlations to make that answer that you guessed the correct one. So trust yourself, don't change your answer especially if it's just a guess okay that's a rule forever and ever and besides you will really just regret it if you say ay mali pinalitan ko pa versus oh yung swerte ako doon tama ako doon and if you get it wrong you'll just say ah okay hindi ko naman talaga alam yun eh hinulaan ko lang yun eh oh well so basically for part two you just have to be prepared for it and lucky for you if your course really prepared you for it even without much intense review before the exam itself so um, good luck. <laughs> That's it for now. I hope you like my tips. Those are all based from experience. And again, just to summarize or at least to emphasize, make the most out of your scratch paper. Make the most out of the time given to you. And don't give up on questions so easily. But at the same time, don't take too long in one question. Maybe it's not worth it. 
and also don't change your first answer if you know that it's just a complete guess. You can only change your answer if you're sure, you're sure, you're sure, you're sure that you just missed it the first time. Just as in all exams that you're gonna take, sometimes you know the answer to the question, sometimes you have an idea, sometimes you just have to completely guess it. But at the end of the day, just do your best and don't underestimate yourself. You'll be surprised at your capability as in, wow, baka pang medicine talaga ako. You picture yourself successful in this exam, okay? Picture yourself getting that goal score because you can really do it if you just do your best and believe in yourself, okay? Kaya mo yan. Kung kaya namin, kaya nyo rin. Imagine every single doctor that you know that you look up to, at least here in the Philippines, and those who went to med school after 1985, they all took that NMAT exam. And look at us now. Dun, 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 dun. We can't even solve the math equations right now. <laughs> no. It won't matter many years from now. So just deal with what you have right now and just always do your best, okay? Good luck if you're taking the NMAT tomorrow and or if you're taking it some other time in the future. You got this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.